How's it going guys? It's Poetry Stud and welcome back to another episode of the Dutch Return Campaign. This is my first episode of this series that I'm recording uh, since I'm back at school. So <clears throat> keep in mind, the acoustics might be a little different here. Um, I'm going to work on trying to get them perfect, as perfect as I can. Um, they should actually sound better because this room is a lot less echoey than the one I was actually recording in at my house. Um, However, keep in mind that means that my roommate, you know, might come in after his class or whatever and interrupt me. Uh, in fact, right now, it's actually about noon. Um, I thought my class was at 12.30. It's the first day of class today. And, uh, and then I looked and I was like, oh, wait, no, it's actually not until 1.30. So I was like, eh, well, might as well record a little bit. Uh, anyways, um, I'm going to be messing around with volume and stuff, but it should be fine for you guys. What was going on? We have a lot of overextension because we had taken over a bunch of Madagascar. That's right. You were recruiting troops there. We got a lot of good stuff going for us right now. Um, I think the game volume is a little too loud. I had actually turned it off and I forgot to turn it back on, so I, the volume was all messed up. Um, so, we basically have all of Western Africa, all the free colonial spots taken now. Um, we're working on the Eastern African parts. Uh, we need to get these islands, or else, like, France will get to them. France always likes to get Ile Bourbon. Bourbon. Um, what do we, what, yeah, what else do we have going on? We're integrating Wales, and, uh, yeah, it seems like this is a good time to just be, um, kind of waiting for a little bit. Was there any, I feel like there was a war I was going to declare, though. I feel like there was a war I was like thinking about declaring right now that I had an opportunity to do. Maybe not. Uh, oh, you know what? We had just we had just formed the Netherlands at the last end of the last episode. That's what we did. Um, so we still haven't had any of the events for like the the kingdom or whatever. Man, we have some good monarchs right now. However, I probably still will go with the Dutch Republic because it is such a good one. Um, I think I will ally France, actually. I, I think I want to have France as my ally for a while longer. Um, so, we can revoke the embargo there. Let's also go ahead and, with you, raise our trust up a little bit. Why are we losing so much money? It's a good question. Root out corruption is a good part of it. Oh, whatever. I'm, I'm actually totally fine with losing money. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Man, France is a beast in this campaign. They're trying. To, they're basically trying to like reform Charlemagne's empire or something like that. <laughs> so that's what it seems like. Um, of course, I would not like that. So you're actually ally of Bohemia. Hmm. So we're no longer in the empire uh, either. Uh, Burgundy is actually a prince in the empire. Now that is really annoying. I don't know how they managed to swing that anyways. Because they don't start as a prince. They start as someone who owns prince's lands but isn't an emperor. So that's annoying. Um, in fact, it's going to make it a little bit harder to conquer their stuff. But... How is Bohemia still winning the the league war? They've taken, they're taking, they're so like, so siege down, you know? So I do think I want to, uh, House of Elsevier. Sounds like a Lord of the Rings <laughs> name. Lodewijk Elsevier, I had a fine understanding of it. So it's book, paper will now be produced in Holland. What do we have there now? Fish, okay. Current price is 2.25. We also get the that thing for till the end of the game. What is what is paper like? Oh my god, that's so much more valuable. Wow, yeah, dude. <laughs> Any day of the week. I didn't realize paper those have was that valuable. I mean it makes sense. It probably goes down later on when the printing press comes around more full full form, I guess, right? That makes sense. Like once the printing press is more established historically speaking already the printing press exists in the game um english channel is not the highest value one in, in the in the game right now um and that is kind of annoying we're not at war right now why are we not protecting trade here let's go ahead and protect trade in lubeck that's what we always want to do Peace of westphalia okay i actually kind of thought this would happen so the peace of westphalia then um 
then it could the emperor could actually be whoever um, which is unfortunate but it does mean that we are eligible although I don't think we're ever going to be the emperor um, yeah that's kind of annoying all right Spain you're my rival oh my god I just realized Spain exists because of Aragon and their ally to France crap I might have like screwed up my relationship with France now oh no okay um, could be better that's for sure so Spain exists as well as Castile. Wow, that's just a mess, man. That's just a mess. Poor Morocco, they were doing so well. So Spain does exist, uh, and that's annoying. We're gonna have to compete with them colonially, but that's okay. They don't even have colonies yet, though. Hmm. I wonder if because they kept their Aragonese traditions, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Man, England, I, I'm very annoyed with you I'm trying to colonize my colonies. England has rivaled us, really. I didn't even think they would be able to. Do you think I'm that weak, England? Um, tell you what, I do think we should go ahead and get our armies all buffed up. To full stacks. There we go. Uh, so, so like I said, I, I'm gonna be messing around with my settings now that I'm back at school and whatnot. But uh, they hopefully they should be pretty good right now. Um, and I am hoping that uh, that the the echo it's less echoey than it was before. It wasn't really echoey before, but it, it, I think it was a little bit. So, uh, so we'll hope it is better now, uh, even if it wasn't necessarily bad before. But, yeah, all right, we have our Annex Vassal of Wales that'll be finishing up soon. Someone actually came up with the idea, hey, you should actually just vassalize England uh, so that they can keep colonizing for you. Now, that is a interesting idea. That is an interesting idea, actually. Um, however, they would have to be pretty small for me to be able to vassalize them. Like, right now, they're 262%. So basically, the reason I kind of don't think I want to do that is because if I did that, I would have to, I would have to eat up all of Ireland probably and the rest of England, um, and then just leave them with Scotland, which would be kind of funny. Um, leave them with Scotland and then call and then vassalize them, uh, and at that point, then I would have to have Ireland and England both as vassals, and I don't want to have two separate ones. So I think what I might do instead is get Ireland quickly, or, or Scotland even. I could go with Scotland instead, but I think I'll do Ireland because um, the Ireland and Highlander stuff. Um, get Ireland, maybe like release uh, Thomond, because I know after playing as them a little bit that they actually have colonial ideas. So if I release Thomond, uh, I could feed them the rest of Ireland and Scotland and have them colonize for us. It would take them quite a while to get to that point, but they, they could hopefully colonize a bit. I don't know. In any case, I don't think I'm that worried about it at all, because I can always take colonies from France, from Castile, well, uh, Spain, Aragon, Spain now. <laughs> you know. Alright, take you out of there, you hit 600, send you to there. And, looks pretty good. But yeah, I am excited for uh, for classes this semester, actually. Um, I, I have a pretty busy schedule. It's almost all comm classes, which is... Uh, so if you didn't know, comm is my major. I'm a communications major. Um, but I'm also... I have a double major. Um, and I, I actually found out, after being in Spain, that uh, I think Europe... In, I don't know, maybe not Europe, or at least Spain. It doesn't seem like this was very common to have um, double majors. I don't know. Like, like, I don't think a lot of, uh, I don't think it was offered there. That's what it seemed like. It seemed like people were telling me that it's not really, um, not really offered that much. Uh, Guiana. Is that what it means? Like, Guiana, like, up in here? Um, yeah, like this area. Uh, I think I'm probably fine with that and without that all right now um but yeah i think um what was i talking about um oh yeah so i'm in communications and uh spanish double major um which is why i was in spain and whatnot actually for our modern language majors as it is called at our university 
um, you're actually required to study abroad for a whole semester, so it's not like I, it's not like I just was like, oh, I want to study abroad because that sounds exotic. No, like I literally had to study abroad somewhere, um, somewhere Spanish speaking, for that matter. Uh, and I was like, and for me personally, uh, I did have a decision. I didn't have to go to Spain, but I was like, I basically was like, um, I love European history. I I love, uh, I like Spanish history and stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna go to Spain. It, it's like the probably the country's history I know the most about. I've read like, I probably read like half a dozen books, um, which isn't that much. Half a dozen history books about Spain. That, that's actually not that much at all. So it, not nearly as much to be an expert in, in any way. So don't don't make me don't let me make you think that I am trying to say I'm an expert in Spanish history. No, I'm just saying that's the one I'm most interested in, the one I mo know the most about, even if it isn't that much on an absolute scale. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I was like, you know, let's go to, uh, let's go there. And I did. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, Wales isn't that good of a province, <laughs> a state, so I'm not going to make it a state yet. Um, what else was I going to say, though? So, you know, one thing I'm confused about in the way the states are in this game, why is Marches a part of Wales, the state? Um, that's something I was always confused about, because Marches, like, the, I'm, I'm sure like this western part here today, modern day, is, and I'm sure there was like a little bit of overlap of Welsh people and, you know, English people in this in this border region, just like there is in Spain between like, in like uh, this part, between Valencian speakers and, and Spanish speakers. But, um, but wouldn't it make more sense to have marches be part of the, of Mercia, um, and then make that a solid four, it would be a big state, but uh, development wise, but a big four state um, that would look more square and nice and neat. Uh, and then have Wales have Cornwall, even though they're not connected. I think, I mean, it makes sense. It's Welsh culture, you know, have that be a three state, which would actually be a decent amount of development. And then just have uh, Wessex be a little bit less. Like, I think that's perfectly fine because you see how much development Wessex has. I mean, it's been developed quite a bit, but still. I, I think that's a that's what I would do, but I don't know. It's a it's a minor nitpick, I, and it is a nitpick. So so don't don't necessarily listen to me. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to do twenty transports. I was gonna do twenty trade. Let's make sure that's actually trade ships. It is. We could do let's do two sets. Um. But yeah, um, should start fabricating on the English at some point in time. This event is always quite annoying. Hmm. I think we have to do that one, just so the burgers are being annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so. What was I talking about before? Um, oh yeah, so my yeah my major is um, I have a double major communication in Spanish. This semester I'm actually getting into like the meat of both of those. Uh, well, I don't know. I did like kind of got to the meat of the Spanish thing when I went to Spain. I took all classes that contributed to my Spanish degree, but um, but now I'm getting into the meat of the communications part. So I have like I have five classes. Out of those five, I have um, three communication classes, and they're all like higher level classes too, which uh, I'm, I'm glad about, uh, honestly. Um, so I have, uh, yeah, I got three, uh, what was I saying? I have three communications classes, uh, which is the most I've ever had in one semester <laughs> up to this point. Um, I have, I have, um, Uh, one Spanish class, because I do have a couple left for that, and I want to space them out. One Spanish class, and then I had, like, one spot where I was like, yeah, I should, I should do something I want to take, like an elective, uh, basically. Because I do need, like, I do have room for elective credits. Um, and so, I was like, well, what should I do? And I have decided to continue with... Uh, with Italian because I did take an Italian class in the last spring before I left for Spain uh, And I loved it. I was like this is really cool and then I went to Italy over this over this um, Semester at the end of the semester in the winter and I was like yeah, I really like Italy. It's pretty cool I didn't like it as much as Spain, but I still liked it a lot. Um, so I was like yeah, why don't we 
continue with Italian. It's a it's a useful language to know. It's it's certainly not as useful as Spanish. Uh, no offense if there's any time viewers out there. Um, it's uh, it's only spoken in Italy really, um, and then I guess a little bit in Libya maybe, um, maybe a little bit in like Ethiopia. I don't know. I don't know if the effects of of the Italian colonization there, imperialism, are still felt. I'm I don't actually don't know, but um, in any case. Um, I was like, it's, it's, Italy itself is like the fifth largest economy in the world or something like that. It's a large country. It's a large economy. It's a useful language to know, uh, even if it's not the most useful. I mean, I mean, heck, to be, to be fair, like, I probably, I know already, uh, my native language, English, is probably the, the most useful language to know, um, even if sometimes it's, you know, I, I kind of wish it wasn't. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like, I, I definitely don't wish it wasn't, but I, I, uh, I think I take it for granted and stuff, and I realize that, and I try to be appreciative of the fact that a lot of people around the world like have to learn English, basically just because it's the lingua franca, and I and I don't I never had to do that, um, and that's it's like you know it's a little bit of a it's a privilege, um, and and it, it kind of makes me sad sometimes, like it really does when I. When basically, like, like in Spain and stuff, I talk to people in Spain about this, like, the fact that um, because English is, like, because really the U.S. and Britain, um, as well as, you know, there's other minor ones too, I'm, well, I shouldn't say minor, but less major powers, but still are relevant, like South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, um, and even places like India, where the second most spoken language, I believe, uh, or the, no, that's not even right, the, the most common second language is English and stuff, um, stuff like that, you know, even with that, uh, with, because of that, like, I don't know, like, quote, like, a global power that key, that English has, it makes it so that a lot of the times, uh, countries like Spain seem like to me, like, a lot of times they don't have as much of their own entertainment industry and whatnot, because a lot of stuff comes from comes from the U.S. and and Britain, um, and kind of makes me sad to, to a certain extent. Like I kind of like, I kind of don't like that. You know, it'd be it'd be cool if there was more stuff. I, I remember like at one point, uh, you know, what? I actually do need to end this episode in a second. I I, I want to end it on time so I can do another one before I did get ready for class. But let's uh, we'll go a second longer. Uh, but yeah, so a short little anecdote. Uh, one time when I was hanging out at this uh, this bar in Spain that I normally went to, they had this language exchange every uh, every Friday um, night, and it was really cool, really chill. It wasn't really like younger people who wanted to party. It was mostly like people in their thirties who really just wanted to talk and stuff. And I really liked that. I liked that atmosphere a lot more um, than like party atmosphere. <laughs> um, so when I was there. Uh, there was one night where there were these two German girls who were both about my age, actually, like 22 or something, uh, a little older than me, but... And I was talking with them, I was like, yeah, it kind of, like, kind of, like, makes me sad that, like, like, uh, for instance, like, um, in America, we never see any, like, German media, really. I, I actually did hear about a German show recently, I can't remember the name, although if, I'm sure if any of you guys mentioned in the comments, I'll recognize it instantly, but... There was actually one German show that I saw, I heard about recently, and I was like, yeah, that's cool. I wish there was more of that. And so I was telling these German, one of these German girls, I was like, yeah, like, I, it's kind of annoying to me that there's not really a, there's not really a, um, a market for that in America, uh, and in other countries in general besides Germany, as far as I know, um, because it makes it so that it's like, those countries, uh, have they don't have the really as much emphasis on creating their own media and their own stuff like that i don't know and uh and that it kind of makes me sad that english is the the culprit of that i guess i don't want it to sound like it's pity or anything because it's not it's more like if anything it's more like guilt <laughs> like like uh even though i mean it's, it's really something that's not in my control at all but it's like you know it's, it's just sort of something I feel bad about, um, even if that sounds ridiculous. Anyways, 
I do need to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode when we continue to block out other European powers out of uh, out of Africa. Until then, uh, until next time, bye-bye.